No, no, what you do to me Between me and you, I feel like chemistry What is up guys, welcome back to my channel And today we are doing another hygiene video So we are doing my 2022 spring slash summer hygiene routine So this is going to be a talk through video And I'm going to be showing you I have like 50 products right here. I'm going to be showing you all these products. I'm not going to try to make this video too long. So if you're interested in watching this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and let's get started. Okay, I'm looking a little rough right now because it's about 12 a.m. But I really wanted to get this video done and up. There's going to be timestamps so you can click and whichever part you want to see, you can just jump right to it or it'll be in the description. So let's get started with oral hygiene. I had braces for about five years and then I got my braces off in 2020, I think. So I developed this hygiene routine and I've been using it ever since. The only thing I changed was the mouthwash. So I don't use an electric toothbrush anymore. I found that it was just easier for me to use a regular one. And I brush my teeth for about three to four minutes since I don't use the electric toothbrush anymore to kind of compensate for using a regular toothbrush instead of so I didn't want to like literally show my toothbrush but you know what a toothbrush looks like um and some products I don't have but I still love and I'll be popping them up on the screen as well and then I also have been using a tongue brush which I really really love also been using these floss picks these are just some cheap ones from target i believe i'll try to have everything linked below but there's a lot of products in this video so if you haven't seen these before which i'm sure you have you just stick down until your teeth like that so basically for my routine this i've changed it once i did my research on this i go in with my floss and then i go in with my mouthwash which if you have not tried this brand please try it your breath will not smell all day literally it says that and it means it so this is what i use they have a bunch of different flavors and colors so try them out this is the only one i have tried i think this one and the blue one are the only ones that i've tried so this is the most popular one if i think so this is the most popular one so then i go on with my mouthwash use the tongue brush and my toothbrush so I know that's kind of backwards for some people. I know people usually do it the kind of the opposite way. But if you floss, you're getting all the stuff out of your teeth first. Then you go in with mouthwash, getting all the stuff you just flossed out. And then you go in with toothpaste. Let me know your steps. Because um, I'm open to trying new things. But that has been my or hygiene routine so next we're gonna go with our facial products as you can see my face is breaking out right now i have had these dark spots they randomly appeared one day and they have not gone away so i have been trying new products my go-to product for when i want my face to be very very clean is my bliss i don't think well okay so if i have any like pimples or anything if i put this on there the next day i wake up the pimple will literally be gone but this does not help with any dark spots or anything like that so this helps me really cleanse my face but beware because the only thing about this is it also kind of strips your oils out of your face so it leaves you with that tight really dry feeling which i have heard is not really good but i like my face to be really really clean feeling and then i just go in with my face moisturizers and then i just started using the hydro boost exfoliating cleanser by neutrogena so i have seen a lot of good reviews on this so i'm super excited to see if the results really work so this is this is an exfoliating so it does have those little beads in it and those are the only two facial cleansers i believe if, ignore my background i have a weird background today and when I'm feeling really fancy, I do use my Vanity Planet. It just has the brush and then three changeable brushes. I think I got this from CBS, I think. I'll just 
put my cleanser on and then use that brush to kind of get get it deeper down in my skin after i wash my face some days i just go in with a toner i don't know if this really has been helping me or not but this does make your skin look really glowy and soft so i just kind of put it in there if i'm going for that kind of feeling and this is just the original one yeah shaving so if you guys haven't seen my shower routine basically I do get Brazilian waxes, and then this is a product I use after my wax. Um, I haven't opened this one. I literally just bought it. This is the Tint Skin Solution for ingrow hairs, razor bumps, shaving, and waxing. So I guess you can use it for shaving too, but I only use it for after I get my waxes. And y'all, this helps so much. It is a little bit more pricey, but it is definitely worth it. A little bit goes a long way, so this should last you. Uh, a good while i do nair my legs i personally do not like the hump i like the roll-on better but target doesn't sell the roll-ons for some reason and i have been going to target for everything lately so that is why i never get to get the roll-on nair but the roll-on is less messy and you don't have to get it on your hands at all i have been shaving my arms and then if i don't get my underarms waxed i shave them which you're not supposed to wax and shave but i still do that as far as my underarms but the shaving creams that i use i this is my very first shaving cream that i've ever tried and i love this because it smells so good raspberry so that's why it smells so good and this just glides on your skin and i have have not got cuts from this one or this one so this is the most updated one that i just used in my shower routine and y'all this will have your skin feeling so smooth pure by venus in honey flower and when it comes to razors i have just been using like the cheap razors because shaving my arms does not take that long and i feel like i don't need early good razor if i shaved my legs i probably would get a better razor these have been working great for me so the bd360 one was the first razors that i got and the bd360 is a cvs brand from target like i said i've been shopping at target so this is just the target brand this one comes with four and it's a triple blade next i'm gonna be showing you guys my three no four exfoliants that i use first is this one i got from amazon and it's this coffee scrub this one is a lot more messy and then i got the raw sugar scrub the raw sugar sugar scrub in watermelon and fresh scent and i also have this one smells so good the lemon sugar scent so you saw this one in my shower routine video this one is just smells so fresh and like refreshing and this one does too they just kind of hurt if you know what i mean like it is very tough on your skin i use that in addition to an exfoliating cloth just something simple like this pair with my sugar scrubs and those together it kind of hurts but it gets all the dead skin off in preparation for shaving i also use this other scrub it's called the scrub of your life they have so many different products um i think this is the only one i think i have one more from the collection but i don't know where it is right now but this one i use mainly on my elbows and my kneecaps because you know they can be a little bit more rougher so this one definitely just makes them silky and smooth okay let's move on to subs i'm super excited so ever since i got put on to this dial soap i have not stopped using it so um bar soaps have been my absolute favorite way better than liquid soaps I used to use Dove all the time, which nothing is wrong with Dove. But y'all, if you have not used an antibacterial bar soap, please, please give it a try. Especially because it's getting hotter, spring, summer. You're going to need something to wipe that sweat away, wipe all the dirt away. And this does the job 100%. 
the only thing about this is you're going to need a good moisturizer when you get out of the shower because that wipes all your dirt off and it also wipes some of your oils off i will say which i don't really care because i use a good moisturizer when i get out the shower so i bring my moisture back but you just have to make sure you put a moisturizer on or you will literally be dry and if your skin is like mine it will start to crack that's how much it wipes away oils and dirt but i absolutely love it and i will never stop using it so okay so if you are a liquid soap kind of girl this has been going around so this is just the castle soap very popular these are very expensive this one i think you can even find at dollar tree and for one pack for a dollar so well a dollar 25 cent so this is affordable um if you have the splurge this is very great this is also i believe antibacterial um very good i have heard that if you use this like on your crotch that it hurts which i have not used it on my crotch so i haven't I don't know about that but that is just some of the reviews I heard and then as far as trying to add a little bit of shine to my body I do use the Olay body conditioner my base soap will always be an antibacterial soap and then I go in with a another liquid kind of soap like a fun soap so I will always use my dial or this antibacterial soap and then I'll go in with like an Olay or if I also love Method Body Wash. The purple one is my favorite. Purple and pink. Those are the only ones that I like. Or if I want to use like a Dove, I'll go in with... I used to love the pink Dove, but they know they changed the formula and they added oil. And I stopped liking it because it wasn't as thick. And it just... I just didn't like it anymore. So I stopped using the Dove. I've used the antibacterial Dove too as well. And it just doesn't get my skin as clean as the bar soap does, like I said. So just antibacterial soap, bar soap, and then I will use a liquid soap if I'm feeling like it. You don't have to use two soaps, but if you feel like it, yeah. This body conditioner just leaves your body super glowy and super soft, especially after you shave and everything. This has just been my go-to. I think there's only one scent of this. Okay, next we're going to talk about lotions. So... I'm changing up my lotions now that it's getting hotter outside. I don't need like heavy, heavy um, like lotions and stuff. The lotion that I always use for my face is the Aveeno Eczema Therapy. I don't have eczema, but I use this. I always do my Ambi and my Vaseline mixture um, on any of my dark spots. It has been helping so, so, so much. So that is my routine that i do every single day ambi and my vaseline mixture then for any stretch marks i have i use the palmers and then as like my little extra cute smelly lotion i use the cake butter i also have a lot of bath and body work stuff i just didn't include it i don't think anybody cared but i do have a lot of bath and body works i love fruity and like sweet smells as far as deodorant i was trying native but it's getting hotter now, so I'm not doing native because I don't want to stink. Um, so now I'm using the Even Tone by Dove. So this has been working very, very well to even out my underarms. Next for our girly section. So first I have Hamper, which is the medicine that I use. These pink pills. This is the multi-symptom one. And I take two of them. Honestly, sometimes it does not work at all. And sometimes it does. So it's kind of like a hit or miss for me. I also use these Cranberry Urinary Chalk Health. Um, I saw someone use these. So I've been using them. And they've been working pretty well. So I have been just taking them. Not every day, but probably six times out of seven days. But it says on here that you can take two tablets daily with water so this is just to maintain your urinary tract health um this is the new pack i haven't opened this one yet because i just finished my last pack and this also has probiotic and vitamin c so it's not just only like cranberry i am a girl who wears like tampons i don't really like pads that much by themselves so i used i've been using 
both of them I used to be able to just wear tampon by itself but now I can't do that anymore I've changed um I used to have heavier but I did get a surgery and that has lightened up my flow a lot which I'm very happy about but I still have to use both so here usually it's filled up but I need to re-up so I just have some supers left and the tiny little you buy kotex I haven't used these because these are the ones you can just put in your pocket but I feel like these aren't as beneficial as the actual longer ones um these are just so skinny and small um and the ones that are bigger I honestly feel like they hold more even though they both say regular I just think the other ones hold more the longer ones so this is just something I use on my very very light day just to kind of get rid of these I've had this for a really long time these are kind of just like my backups and then I have just like a small I think this is like a size three or something um pad that I wear in combination with this and it works pretty well I used to use a size 4 because, like I said, I had a heavy flow, but it did change after my surgery, so I don't really have to use that anymore. And then, uh, when it comes to my lighter days, I have these panty liners. I think everyone should have panty liners, or when it's almost time for me to come on, I have panty liner, and I wear it just in case. So when I feel something coming out, I can just go ahead and then pop a tampon in, but it will protect my underwear. Because I can feel when something is about to come, you know. Let me know if you want more videos directly about this stuff. My masks that I use on my self-care days. So I do have this butt mask that I use. And you just scrub it all over your body in the shower and leave it on for three minutes. And it's like a coffee butt mask. And then we have the foot sock mask which I love but this does kind of take off your nail polish on your feet so I have stopped using this as often and I just use a foot brush to scrub my feet instead and this is also another mask that I really really love and the last thing I use on my self care days is the Dr. Teal's, which everybody knows about, this is the sleep bath low. So this is going to help you fall asleep. And then I have the Epsom salt. Okay, guys, that is all for this video. Um, make sure you give this a thumbs up. Subscribe. Let me know if you're liking these hygiene videos. Oh, if you're wondering, these are my favorite luxury perfumes right here. Um, the Miss Dior is my absolute favorite. It is so powdery. Um... So that's my favorite scent by the way if that's a part of hygiene i guess but that is all for this video make sure you leave any video requests down below and i will see you guys in my next video no no what you do to me between me and you i feel a chemistry